Well, welcome everyone here to St. Anne's Basilica in Detroit, Michigan. And congratulations, family members who are here today. This is a great moment for your beloved. Today we come together so happy for Matthew and Courtney as their love is coming to this moment where they are going to make a beautiful act, an act that can only come from their hearts. You're the one I've waited all my life for. I pretended like we were gonna go look at houses. Our friends Peter and Emma came back to our house, set up flowers, made it all nice, and then we opened the front door, um, and I went down one knee and proposed to her. So. Transforms into the when I think back to the early days of their relationship, I know it sounds so cliche, but I really did have a great feeling about Matt, and I'll tell you why. Growing up, Courtney was always very sweet, but painfully shy. And as we've gotten older, that's kind of translated to her becoming a bit private about her personal life. And after finding out that she'd only been dating Matt a couple of months, I knew that if she was talking about him in this much detail so soon in their relationship and so much, that he must be pretty important to her. And be here till I find a breath. My love is all for you. Very honored to be his best man, even though I was a second choice, but uh, <laughs> unfortunately Buford couldn't make it tonight. But <laughs> He sends his regards. <laughs> the first Matt I knew in life was uh, Brother Matt. He was always caring, has unconditional love. You know, we, even though we had the typical brotherly relationship, <laughs> he was always a protector. He always put everyone else in front of him before, you know, he, he took care of himself and it, it was really special. Feels like we hearing all the positive things about Matt and then meeting him and seeing how they are in person. I'm so excited for them. And I, you know, the best thing you can want for your sister is that she can find happiness and love. And she definitely has that with Matt. I'll never stop chasing you. That's why we're here today, that this promise that they're making is a promise that's born out of God's love. And I'm always captured by this promise, because it's a covenant, not a contract. Contracts are like quid pro quo, you know, that for which. Covenant says, I give you my heart. Hi, Courtney. Take you, Matthew. To be my husband. To be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. I'd like to introduce for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Matthew Brewer. You may kiss the bride. Courtney, I can't predict the future, but I can make you a few promises. Matt is going to keep working to be better. The same qualities that make him a great guy, a great friend, a great lawyer, and hopefully a great fiance, are going to make him a great husband. And should it be a part of God's plan for the two of you and your two dog family to grow, he's going to be a fantastic parent because he's had two amazing examples. And I'm so happy to welcome Matt into the family. I don't think we could have had anyone better for Courtney. And I think it's just gonna be fantastic. I can't wait to see how you guys grow together and start your family. So now, if I could ask everyone to raise their glass to Courtney and Matt, that your future is bright, hopeful, and full of love.